So I'm here with Rob Newman. Rob, welcome back to Ashton Gate, firstly. Yeah, thanks, Dan. It's uh, really nice to be back here. Love coming back here, obviously. Hundreds and thousands of memories of this place. Um, it's grown a bit, it's improved a bit, just a touch. But listen, to be invited back today is, a, is a, always a special occasion for me. Yeah, nearly 400 games for Bristol City, I think, between 81 and 91. You must have some great memories of this place. I think over 400 games, Dan. Wow. Come on. Yeah, you go, you go, 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 go. I've done you a disservice there. Yeah, no, over 400 games. <laughs> yeah. No, like I say, it's, it's fantastic. Lots of memories, um, occasions, both like negative and positive because we, we went through a tough patch in, in those early years. But listen, it, it's always been a cl uh, club that's very close to my heart. And even just been, I've been here like half an hour, seen four or five of the old players and whatever like, and you just get back into the, the banter and the conversations that you had all those years ago. So listen, really, really appreciative of the uh, of the invite back today and, uh, and looking forward to the game because the team started really well this season. So I'm fingers crossed for a good performance and, uh, and three points. So what do you make of this uh, current City side then this season? Well, from afar, I've not seen them live. I've seen them uh, on, on video and whatever. I mean, I've, I've not seen them live, so I'm looking forward today. But I just feel this year could be the year that they could be in the mix. You know what I mean? Like I so say, you look around here, you look at the support. I know the support's fantastic. But the players they've got on there now, they've got some good energy in the team with young players. But they've got a, a few people with, with a bit of nouse about them as well. So they've got a good mix, good manager uh, that's been proven in Premiership as well. So everything is pointing towards having a really successful season and, and fingers crossed getting to the promised land of the Premier League. Yeah. Now as a defender, City obviously at the moment playing three at the back, can be five at the back at times. Who's sort of standing out for you from the, the defensive positions perhaps? I think you, you, you don't pick any individual out. I think as, if you've got to be a successful team, you've got to have a, a, a strong defensive unit. And Nigel being a, the manager being a, a defender, I mean, he recognises that as well. So I think, I mean, rather than, rather than sort of like actually any, make any individuals to stand out figure I think you need a collective unit and, and me being a defender like yeah okay if, if you're part of a, a strong unit that doesn't concede goals this side will score goals so like I say you I mean they can't they can't uh, afford to keep leaking the, the silly goals really because it sort of like makes games a bit nervous for people as well so with the quality in offensive they've got they've got to be a strong compact uh, defensive unit. Now, before we let you go, we just have to ask you, what are you up to these days? What do you get? Are you still involved with football? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm working with uh, another expert, David Moyes, uh, head of, is uh, head of recruitment in uh, at West Ham. So uh, I'm working closely with him. So uh, obviously, we both got good memories of, of this place. So uh, been there a year now, um, enjoying things. So I mean, also uh, it gives me a chance to look at the, the 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 young players of City and QPR today. Well, good luck today. Thank you. Okay, cheers, Dan. Thanks.